Hi, my name is Keith Nickel, and before we start today's video, what I'd like to look at uh, is the rosin of clothing that I've been testing out over the last few days. Uh, they're a soft shell product, both pant and, and jacket, so they're really warm. Uh, and I really like the pants because I have trouble often finding ski pants to get the right waist. Uh, I sacrifice uh, the leg uh, or vice versa to get you know, often the, the right leg length, the way too baggy. But these are a nice slim fit and I really appreciate that. Uh, the, the jacket uh, also fits well. Uh, it's a slim fit uh, and uh, I like that for skiing. Gives you lots of mobility for arm motion and so forth. So I'll put a link in the description below uh, to, to Rosino Clothing. Uh, check it out if you're interested. So today what I'd like to look at is the topic of pass gang. Uh, pass gang is a term cross-country skiers use sometimes to refer to a motion, an arm motion, where the arm moves forward at the same time as the ski. And I find this is quite common in some skiers with both a diagonal stride and the diagonal skate. So sometimes it's a it's a classic air and sometimes it's a skating air. But this is what it looks like. The same arm moves forward. So in this case, my left arm and left ski move forward, right arm, right ski, and so forth. This is what it looks like while I'm actually moving. So this is what it might look like skiing like this. Okay, so this is opposite of what we want. We want to be diagonal in our actions. In other words, opposite arm and leg. So instead, we want a motion like this. Here you can see that my opposite arm and leg move forward together. So sometimes I have skiers drop their poles or just hold them in their hands, kind of get a motion like this going, just swinging the arms naturally, and then moving down the track in kind of a bouncy motion like this, almost jogging. Notice I'm not getting that much weight shift, but at this point I'm not really concerned about that. I'm just uh, concerned about the coordination of arm and leg. And then next what I do is I maybe just have the person plant the poles or just drag the poles like this. Again, just a natural arm swing. And then gradually add some power and we have the right arm timing and leg action now. Uh, pass gang is also very common when I teach uh, diagonal skate. Uh, and again, it's the same side arm and, and skating ski that happen at the same time. This is what it looks like. So remember, it's opposite arm and leg action, kind of like what I'm showing right here, that you want for your diagonal skate. So just like with diagonal stride, where we didn't use our poles to start with as we're trying to correct this, just swinging our arms naturally, we're going to do a free skate, just swinging our pole arms naturally like this, and now we're just going to drop the poles in. And we come up the hill like this. So let's just recap. Uh, I found a good way to, to fix pass gang is to take off the poles to start with or get the correct arm motion if it's uh, classic skiing or, skate or uh, diagonal skating uh, and then go slowly at first working on that correct arm motion, gradually add the poles uh, and that's one way uh, to fix pass gang that I found. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share it with skiers you think might benefit. Thanks for watching.